Hey, welcome to Learn Xiang Qi. I'm David, the Xiang Qi coach with all the tips and tricks for you to mastering the game. In the last few videos, we have talked a lot about what the cannon shouldn't do in the opening. Nevertheless, the cannon is a very powerful piece with many tricks to hurt the opponent in Xiang Qi. Specifically, for players from the chess world, because chess has no similar piece, they often overlook the tactical opportunities or the threat related to cannon. So today I'm going to introduce you to some tricks and common mistakes related to cannon and the pin tactic. A pin is a tactic you can use to restrict one or more of your opponent's pieces. For example, here, after red moves the chariot to e8, black's chariot and cannon are pinned. Because if any one of them moves aside, another piece would be captured. To avoid losing pieces, they have to stay on the foul, so their movements are restricted. In chess, pin is a very straightforward thing, usually performed on the line directly by the queen, rook, or bishop. In Xiangxi, things are a bit different. The pin is usually more indirect, especially when you are using the cannon to pin. We know cannon needs a mount to take pieces. When there are two pieces between the cannon and the targeted piece, we could say the cannon is blocked. However, when the two pieces in between are the opponent's pieces, we could also say these pieces are being pinned. Such as this example of the famous iron boat checkmate. Beginners often feel safe when they see the advisors and the elephants connected with each other in a full guard formation. But this feeling is false, because the central advisor and elephant are actually pinned by the cannon and cannot move to other positions. The attack in Xiangqi is like a siege battle. The advisors and the elephants are the walls of the castles. In history, the generals destroy the castles with cannons. Similar to history, in Xiangxi we often use the cannon pinning the elephant and advisor to weaken the defense system, then make a breakthrough. When the chariot gets to the bottom rank, to check. In this case, the central advisor and elephant cannot go down to block, so it is a checkmate. The cannon pin the opponent's defense pieces on the central foul, so we can break through the defense on the bottom rank. Another similar case is to use a bottom rank cannon to pin the elephant and advisor on the bottom rank, then have a breakthrough from the central area, especially the central foul. Although two elephants seem to be connected with each other in this case, it's actually not. Because the bottom rank elephant is pinned and cannot move to capture the red chariot, Black has to move up the advisor to i5 to block the check. After Black has moved up this advisor, due to the bottom rank advisor, the j6 advisor is also being pinned, and the flying general rule. The chariot can also capture this advisor for free and check. The general must move away. Then, red wins by stalemate by using a waiting move. Besides the way to use the cannon pin to weaken the defense system, I want to show one common costly mistake that is due to ignoring the cannon pin when being checked. In this case, when red moves the cannon to the bottom rank to check, black has two options to encounter. One is to use the chariot to block. Another one is to move up the advisor, so the cannon has no mount to check. There is only one correct move here for black, which is moving up the advisor. Because if black tries to block the check with the chariot, there is a very snaky capturing here. Chariot taking the advisor. Black general cannot take it because it is protected by the cannon. Black chariot cannot take it either because if it takes, there would be only one piece between the cannon and the general. And then red cannon can take the black general and checkmate. 
Because of this pin, black can only escape the general. Then red can take the chariot for free. So now you have learned some common cannon pin in checkmate. I'm going to show you two more common cannon pin formations, but in the opening. The first one would be the cannon scavenge. In this game, when red moves the cannon to C3, black was like, it remembers, okay, if this cannon, if the C3 cannon takes the G3 soldier, it would be using the cannon to shoot the mosquito, which is not good for red. So, here, it decided to ignore this cannon to C3 move by developing its chariot. Nevertheless, while the cannon shouldn't shoot the mosquito here, Red could perform a cannon gambit by moving up the soldier to across the river. Black could capture this F3 soldier by its G3 soldier, but it shouldn't, because if it captures, Red cannon can capture the black horse. So the black loses more point. So in this case, this black G3 soldier is being pinned by the C3 cannon. It cannot take. The black can only escape the horse. In this case, the red soldier can then take the black soldier. In this cannon gambit case, by the cannon pin, red successfully promoted the soldier, take one soldier, and forces black horse to a poor position. So, at the beginning, when red moves the cannon to c3, black should move up the elephant to h1. So, when the soldier crosses the river, black can take it by its elephant. Another similar cannon pin is on the central file. In this game, when red moves up the central soldier, if black ignores this move and decided to develop its soldier instead, Red could also push the soldier across the river. This G5 black soldier could not take the F5 red soldier in this case, because if it takes, it would be a checkmate. So black cannot stop red central soldier from promoting across the river in this case. If black wants to avoid that, it must strengthen the central file by moving up an advisor or elephant in this position. So the central soldier is not pinned by the cannon when the red soldier crosses the river. And it could take the red soldier in this case. The last common cannon pin I'm going to show you today is the string pin. Many beginners, even advanced players, often fall into this trap. In this game, after the black riverbank chariot moves to the F4 to attack the red E4 riverbank horse, red decided to move up the chariot to the riverbank to protect this horse. It seems very natural, right? But it is a very poor move. Because black could advance the cannon to E2, to pin the red e4 horse and e8 chariot. If horse escapes, the cannon takes the chariot. If the chariot escapes, black takes the horse. This is called using a string to pin a cow because black is using a piece with a relatively small value to pin pieces with a relatively much bigger value. So it is very beneficial for black. So at the beginning, when the E4 horse is being attacked by the F4 chariot, it should escape to its original position instead, not pushing the chariot to the riverbank to defend it. In conclusion, today you have learned how to use the cannon pin to weaken the opponent's defense system so you could create a breakthrough using other pieces, usually the chariot. You have also learned how to use the cannon pin to gain advantage in the opening. By mastering these cannon pin tactics, 
and avoiding these mistakes, you could bring your Shanxi game to the next level. Another news to mention, since creating these videos, I have received multiple inquiries about creating a Discord channel so you guys could discuss Shanxi in Discord. I've created a channel. You could get into the Shanxi channel in Discord by clicking the link in the description of this video. Another frequent inquiry that I have received is about Shanxi set with graphical pieces. Shanxi.com does provide Shanxi set with graphical pieces. You could also click the link in the description section of this video to buy a Shanxi set with graphical piece in Amazon. And I've aware that the Amazon often show out of stock for this Shanxi set. So if you see out of stock there, then you could send email to help at shangqi.com and I guess you could also copy from the description section of this video. We would figure it out for you. That's everything I have for you today. Stay tuned for more Shangqi content. I would see you soon.